Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. Coming to you really quickly with a Dollar Tree haul. I went to Dollar Tree yesterday after not going for like, literally like maybe a month. And that's like big for me. Um, and I got quite a bit of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, in honor of Independence Day being right around the corner. I'm gonna show you what we got for that first. Um, I picked up the LED light up necklace. I try to get these every year. A lot of the times um, they're out of stock, but this year I managed to grab three of them. They still had plenty. But they're just little stars. They look like that. Um, I don't want to turn it on because I want to save it for um, the day of. So I got those. Like I said, I got three of those. And then I picked up a scarf. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this scarf. I kind of just picked it up just because, just in case, you know, one of us didn't have something to wear. And then, so that's from Dollar Tree. I know I'm skipping around here, but it's kind of the same theme. Um, from Family Dollar, I know that a couple of hauls ago, I hauled some clearance from Family Dollar and I totally forgot to haul these. These are just little um, plaques, wooden plaques you set them down as decoration. This one says land of the free because of the brave. And then this one is just the American flag, same thing. And these were on clearance, you guys, for 75 cents at Family Dollar. So I snatched it too. Um, I'm gonna show a couple of things that I got from Dollar General. I know I'm skipping around and I'm really sorry, but I totally forgot. Um, so last time when I did the Dollar General, um, haul, I was telling you guys about the perfume and I showed you guys the little, uh, the little spray in the, uh, it says cheerful, our expression of Clinique happy by Clinique and it's the eau de toilette. So I did manage to find it in the big bottle and I was super happy about that, comadres, because it smells so good. I love the way Clinique Happy smells. It kind of brings back memories from when I first graduated high school and working my first desk job. My mom bought me the Clinique Happy set as kind of like a, I don't know, like a first day of work gift. I don't know, excuse me. And so it brings back a lot of memories. So there's that. And then also the last time I showed you guys a lipstick that I have bought from the new um, makeup line that's exclusively at Dollar General. And it's called Believe Beauty. And I believe um, Crystal, Crystal Fayad, her channel is Mrs. Fayad, M-R-S. F-A-Y-A-A-D. Um, you guys should go check her out if, if you haven't already. She hauled a couple of things from the line as well. And this is the foundation, but it's so fancy. Look at the pump. I think that's what sold me was the pump. I watched a couple of hauls on this and when I saw this, I was like, yes, it's very fancy and also neat. It's uh, much neater when the um, packaging has the pumps. That's just my opinion. I can easily work with the pumps rather than, you know, having it fully open and, you know, putting it on your hand and that kind of thing. So there's that. And this is in the shade Warm Vanilla. It's a shade darker than what I normally am, but I did that because it is summertime and Comadres, you know, some of us get dark in the summertime. Um, so yeah, and this was only $5, I believe. 
So that's it for Dollar General and Family Dollar. I'm gonna go back to Dollar Tree. Um, I purchased this bag. It's a pineapple, cute little tote. And I actually got it for my daughter. She's in summer camp right now, and tomorrow I believe they're going to um, a water park. And so I bought it for her to go to the water park just to put her stuff in. I know that this is probably not gonna keep her stuff dry, but I don't think that they are going to um, be placing their things near the water. Somehow um, she's able to keep her bags dry, but I'm not sure how, but hopefully, you know, she doesn't have to put it by the water because then it won't keep her um, stuff dry, but we'll see. Um, I purchased two of these cups. I just thought they were really pretty and of course they were teal and I do have the smaller version of them that are about right here. They look a little different, but they're the same color. And these are actually really nice and sturdy and thick. So I got two of them just for us to use, you know, when we want, I don't know, water or drink. Instead of using paper cups, we I tend to buy like cups like this, you know, cheap cups where we can just use them over and over and over. So I got two of those. Um, I picked up a Dial Himalayan Salt um, hand soap. And I know last time we were talking about Dial soap at Walmart for 75 cents. Actually, no, it was the Equate version of the Dial soap, which, uh, girl, that's still good. It's the same thing. I'll take it. Um, unfortunately, uh, I saw this yesterday and I just picked it up because I love the Himalayan salt scent. And I just picked it up on a whim um, just to, because I love the scent. So I got that. Um, got my sponges. You guys know I live on these um, sponges. These are the Scrub Buddies six pack. And I believe um, Kathy over at No Good Snow Glory gave me the idea of um, sanitizing them in the microwave um, so that they can last even longer. So that's really good. Um, I picked up this bottle of Spick and Span Multi-Surface Cleaner. This is in the scent Wild Lavender, Lasting Fresh Scent. And you get 28 fluid ounces. They did have the regular spray bottle and I should have grabbed it and then just used this as a refill, but I wasn't thinking straight, I guess. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this exactly like I used the Fabuloso. I'm gonna just pour it in the um, in the spray bottles. You know, the ones we get at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna pour it in one of those and then mix it with water and then I'll use that to, you know, clean my counters and stuff like that as a multi-surface cleaner. I got that and it smells really nice. Oh, it smells so good. I was kind of getting tired of Fabuloso. This doesn't really smell like Fabuloso, but it's got like a, no, it doesn't smell it, smell like Fabuloso at all. It's more floral than anything. I was getting tired of Fabuloso, so I thought I'd try something new. They did have the green one in antibacterial and I was gonna get that one, but Comadres, you know right now, I'm not worried about the antibacterial. I worry about it when it's flu season, then I have to have everything um, antibacterial because we ain't trying to catch the flu over here. All right, I believe that's it. Okay, well, I was trying to stick to household. Um, I picked up these super cute dish drying mats. For some reason, when we moved in here, I'm not sure why, we did not set up our dish drying rack. And we still haven't. It's still like, you know, it's weird how we have it set up. Like I have the drying mats on the counter. This is it right here. So they're not very big, but still, they're really cute. So anyway, I have them like this on the counter on each side of the sink, and that's how we put our dishes. We stack them on there, and then I'll dry them a little bit later and put them away. And we still haven't put our dish drying rack. I'm not sure why, we just haven't, I guess. So, I mean, and I'm okay with that. So, um, so I grabbed 
two of those. It says it's 100% polyester. Uh, the foam part is 100% polyurethane. It's 12 inches by 18 inches. So in case you guys wanted to know that, I believe that's all for household. I'll show you guys the snacks that I brought or that I bought. Um, I found some Ritz crackers. These are the two pack of the um, Fresh Ducks. And I got two of these. So basically you got four for $2. I know that at like Kroger or, you know, at a grocery store, you can get a whole box of like eight for, you know, two bucks. I know that, but you know. You know, comadre, we go to Dollar Tree because we're in a hurry. We want to get everything in one store. So sometimes we do that, right? So I'll grab two of those for my son and my daughter. And then I saw these Pop-Tarts. They're called Pop-Tart Splits. On one side, it's frosted strawberry. And on the other side, it's drizzled cheesecake. So that's what they look like. So it's half and half. And they're actually pretty good. I had one this morning and it was pretty bomb. It was pretty good. So I grabbed two of these and of course you get two to a package and then you get two pop tarts each packet. So pretty good deal for a dollar. Got my usual West soy milk. For those of you who are lactose intolerant, this is some really good milk. It's just soy milk. Um, yeah, I buy it all the time, all the time. So that, because if you try to buy soy milk at the grocery store, forget it, forget it. It's so expensive. Oh, I forgot this stuff for household. Just got some vinyl gloves. This is another repurchase that I get all the time. I use these for miscellaneous things, uh, cleaning the bathroom, if I have to clean up a mess that one of the dogs made or an accident that they made or something, I will use gloves. Y'all, yeah, I've got a mess over here. So let's see. Then I purchased some toothbrushes. I got this pack of two of Thomas the Train for my son, for Henry. And then I grabbed this two pack of Reach toothbrushes. They come with the little cap on top. These are just if uh, one of us, my daughter, myself, or my husband needs an extra one, I bought those. And then I got some more toothpaste. Um, this says you get 20% more. This is the 4.8 ounce and this is the Ultra Cinnamon Flavor Blast. I like cinnamon toothpaste. So got that. And then, oh, I don't know what happened here. I grabbed two of these. This is another repurchase. I love, this has to be my favorite, favorite thing to get from Dollar Tree. I've been living on these, comadre. I live for them. I cannot be without them ever, ever, ever. They come in handy, especially if you have children. They're just like um, the, what are they called? Wet ones. I mean, if not better and they are the Assured Antibacterial Wet Wipes. So come in handy. They, I carry one in my purse. I put one in my son's little carry bag. I mean, my husband uses them at work sometimes. I, they're just multi-purpose. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the travel size items that I got next. So I got these little ivory, oh! I slipped out of man. I got this these little ivory clean um, body washes. They're just a little travel size, but they smell so good. They smell so fresh and clean. Oh, I couldn't leave them. I had to get them. And I know a dollar is pretty steep to pay for a little travel size. I don't like to pay for that even at like Walmart or something. But... And I want to say they're like 96 cents or 86 cents at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I couldn't resist. So I picked up two of those. And then I picked up two of these Nivea soft moisturizing creams. Just some crema to throw in my purse. I got two of those. 
And then I picked up some movies. Uh, I got A World War II Saga, Brothers of War, a film by Mike Carter. Um, let you guys look at that. Just figured my husband would like this. It's basically about two brothers. Um, let's see. They both go to uh, World War II. Um, yeah, it's, it just says that they basically uh, go through the journey together and they find out like, you know, secrets of the family. I mean, just basically their journey through the World War II um, battle. So thought my husband would like that because he likes um, movies that take place like during wars and stuff. Um, then I got this, uh, this one, it's called The Better Half with Kathleen Rose Perkins and Chris Parnell. I've never heard of those actors, but um, it says the afterlife has its ups and downs. Um, it says it includes two bonus movies, one called Noel and one called Wildflowers as well. So you basically get three movies for one. I thought that was a really good deal for a dollar. Um, this one is about uh, a lady. She basically travels through time on her treadmill somehow. And she wakes up um, meeting her guardian angel in the afterlife. And it just kind of gives her some insight into her real life and to see where she needs to make changes. I thought that was pretty cute. Wish we could all do that, right? Travel back in time. Ooh, comadre, I'd be all up on that and I'd be fixing all my stuff. But uh, let's see. And then I got this one. It's uh, Paper Towns. You guys have heard of this movie and the book. I have not read the book because I couldn't get into it. I read like a couple of pages and I just couldn't get into it. it wasn't my thing. But the movie sounded really neat. And it's something that me and my daughter can probably watch together. Um... It stars Kara Delavine and Nat Wolf. And I think this is just about their friendships. Let me see. Yeah, it's a it's a guy and a girl and they the you know, typical love story. The the guy likes the girl, he's in love with her but they're just friends and then after one night that they go out and you know have some fun um she disappears and i think they're just um he goes on a road trip to find her so but that was a cute movie to watch with my daughter and then this one is called a place at the table one nation under fed and basically it just says um tells powerful stories of three such Americans who maintain their dignity even as they struggle just to eat in a riveting journey that will change forever how you think about the hungry. A place at the table shows how the issue could be solved forever once the American public decides, as they have in the past, that ending hunger is in the best interest of us all. So another cute movie. Um, possibly to watch with my daughter again. I felt like there was, you know, some lessons to be learned from that. And then I got another movie, but I threw away the case already because we keep all of our movies in a um, the little zipper CD case and we throw away the, the hard cases. So I forgot what it was called. I watched it last night and it was super cute, but I forgot what it was called. Um, Let's see. Okay, so I have one more bag. And then I, got, I uh, saw this, I guess it's shave cream. Yeah, it's shave cream by Personal Care. And it says it compares to the EOS shave cream. You get seven fluid ounces. And I decided to grab this because I've always wanted to use the EOS shave cream, but comadre, it's like $4. And I'm like, uh-uh, not paying $4 to shave my legs. This one smells really, really nice. They had this one and then they had 
another one, but I think it was like pomegranate or something. I didn't really like that one. This one is lavender and jasmine. It smells really, really nice. Excuse me. So I decided to grab that to try it. Then I got my husband some dress socks. I've told you the deal with the dress socks and his department. All the CID detectives like to wear goofy socks or loud socks. So, you know, they're always competing, you know, showing each other each other's socks or whatever. So I grabbed him those. And then I'm only gonna show, well, she, she wrapped them all together. I grabbed these mirror uh, tiles. See if I don't blind you guys. So I grabbed them, they're just the square mirrors. And I grabbed five of them. And no, I'm not going to make the shelf that everybody's been making. It's a cute little DIY, but I'm not gonna make that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up and I'm going to take my um, my bougie, most expensive uh, bed fumes and I'm going to set them on top. I'm going to throw away the boxes and set them on top. And I think it will look really, really nice that way. So I got those. And then when these... Um, these little cases came out or these little acrylic wannabes um you know these things when they came out i could not find this one that has the lid on it it was basically just the square with the lid on it so i finally found them at my dollar tree and i grabbed two of them and i cannot wait to uh store more stuff in them i think they are really 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 um, you know, they come in, in handy, like to store stuff and it doesn't look ugly. Like it looks organized when you have, you know, when you have them all in the cases and I have a collection back there of acrylic cases or wannabe acrylic cases. So yeah, things just look neater when you have it all set up in these. I don't know why it looks fancy, I guess. And I think that's I grabbed another um, lighter because we fight over the lighter somehow. We only have one and we always fight over it. So I grabbed another one. And I think that's it for mothers. I think that is it. That is all for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, uh, let's see. Thank you guys for the love that you guys showed my husband in the last haul that I did from Walmart. Um, he definitely said thank you very much. He enjoyed doing the video. Um, right now, we've been just busy. He is on vacation right now, but I mean, we've been doing things around the house and just kind of getting things done. Um, and then the holidays coming on Thursday. So I really don't know. I would like to do another video with him, but I, I'm not sure what or when. So stay tuned for that because we do want to do another video. Um, and yeah, that's it, you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys have a safe and fun filled Independence Day. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.